Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time tuning in to the Drivers Uncut, you are in for a treat. Why? Because we have our five year anniversary special, right? Five years married today. <laughs> Literally and today. literally today and it's also our four year anniversary um on youtube guys so things are a little bit different just as you tad. can just a tad you can see the intro is not the same but i promise you you won't be disappointed cool let's get into it hey my name is jason sandals and i'm daniel sandals i'm tabo bianca uh, my name is Hungani Ndlovu. And my name is Stephanie Ndlovu. My lovely wife. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm very straight, straight full, married to this lovely specimen you're next to me. Um, Casually straight full. Yeah. I'm Frank Kemanjo. Avril Sandals. Monty Sandals. We are married for se seven years, going on to eight years. We've been married for five years. We're going on to four years, eh? On to four years. Yeah, there's a wrong on and right four. way to answer that. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you see me not answering, you see me looking. <laughs> 13 years. Going on 14 in June. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who answers it? <laughs> 38 years. 63 years of marriage. <sighs> Wasn't that bad, baby? I almost said marriage is trouble. <laughs> Big trouble. No, I'm really joking. <laughs> Heavy. What is marriage? What is it? It's not a cage. I know the question is what is marriage, but like sometimes it's easy to go what marriage is not. Uh, it's not just a contract. It's not just a contract. Although it is a contractual. It is very contractual. <laughs> marriage is a full fulfillment of what God designed it for. So marriage can be described as, as many different things in a practical sense. Marriage is the coming together of two people who love each other very much. Yeah, marriage marriage for me is trust. Uh, marriage is friendship. Marriage is love. Uh, any marriage based, based off love for me is key. Uh, because I've, I've, I've come to learn that, that love is a choice. It's not a feeling. It's not an emotion, it's a choice. You learn to love someone, you grow with that, with that person in love. Marriage is definitely not a feeling, you know. It's not um, something, it's, the, it's not the feeling that carries you through marriage. It's the choice of, this is the person I am choosing to spend the rest of my life with, and this is the person that um, I am choosing to build my life with. Yeah, marriage basically, in my mm -hmm. opinion, is basically when two people come together and um, they fall in love and play together and eventually they, they get married. It's also very biblical in terms of what the Bible teaches us, that a man will find a wife, finds a good thing. And uh, yeah, so marriage for me, it's finding a good thing. He started with Adam and Eve. And we took it from there. Uh, in a maybe, maybe more complex sense, marriage is the partnership of values. Marriage, marriage is the partnership of, of lifestyles, of visions, of dreams. Uh, it's the progression of life and society itself. It's the greatest team that can be put together in order for us to make society work. Sure. Should I also answer? I think you said all of it. <laughs> I think it's so tough to, to bring the concept of marriage to such a, almost like a one plus one equals two type of answer, like basic answer, mm -hmm. because it's so vast and based on your life experience, it can mean so many different things. And I think for me, like, 
Love is definitely a big component of what is marriage. Kolunkolo uste abu kuhle kuse indosaisha leo doa yana muga. I think yeah, I think Vernon has answered uh, that to the point, especially the friendship part, because um, I think friendship is a uh, a true reflection of what a marriage is in that it's um you share things you share a journey together yeah. so um yeah i would say that and it's a choice as well um, it's a big choice mugani nguloma mubabe namathi lokungulungulo as the way of tsanza loko services you know like i think that it's important to recognize that a marriage is covenant, yes, ordained by God. He's placed marriage um, as something to, yeah, that, that he sees it important, but also I think it aligns purpose. It's mm -hmm. so that we can come together to fulfill what God has planned for nice. us. And two, are, two is better than one. So we, yeah. we can conquer more, we can do more uh, together sure. as a team. Well done, my wife. Well, that's a good team. answer. <laughs> and I think understanding like, the design and the purpose behind marriage uh -huh. um, is one that not only takes time but takes journeying within marriage um, to be able to fully understand what it is because I remember like when when we just got married we, we kept asking like surely it's not supposed to be like this yeah surely this should be happening at this point um, but just through being in in the journey together, understanding that we've taken on this journey, um, we've been learning each step of the way what what it means. I'd say I'd say marriage is like the most trust, the most trust developing bond that mm. like two people can form. Yeah, like on an ongoing basis. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, and it's something to protect. Yeah. Big time. Yeah. Marriage can also start way before you actually get married. Um, and so for us, uh, we knew each other for 11 years before we got married. And um, I think that um, provides a good solid foundation for a good marriage because you know exactly at the end of 11 years of dating, you know, you should know by then whether this is really what you want to do and um, if this is really the person that you want to spend your time with. Sure. You didn't prepare me for this one. I had to Talk think about, about it. I like Tabo's pensiveness. I like... Did you just say go on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I love... Uh, this is a major one for me. I love how Vernon loves people. Oh, man. You know, I don't want to give you like a big head, you know, like make your ego just like go out the roof. But <laughs> she's gorgeous. Well, for me, um, besides the the beauty, it was basically just the um, uh, the openness, uh, the sense of fear of the Lord, which is very important in any marriage. What I love about Jason is his, you know, humor. Uh. As you can see, very funny guy. Talk about Makes me laugh all the time. Mm. Caringness. Okay. And I like that he thinks I'm funny. It makes me feel good about myself. That's rough. Uh, those are not deep things, but I like those three yeah. things. Yeah. 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 Not, but um, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, jokes aside, like you, you genuinely are like really beautiful, and I am forever in awe. Just like I got so lucky, you know, a lad like me. <laughs> oh man. Um, and how social you can be. I'm a. I'm the. Not that I don't love people. <laughs> I'm just very shy and introvert, so. Uh, when I met Vernon, that was something that I felt like I needed.
for me for me to be balanced. <laughs> so that's a big one I love about him. And also the um, the vision that we had for for our future in terms of uh, uh, raising children and, and, and starting a family. Uh, the commitment that 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 Avril showed in that direction was for me very important. And I love that he leads well. He's a strong leader in all senses. He leads his family well. He leads me well. Um, he. He sets an example, but he also like encourages me to go for things and to fulfill God's purpose for my life. I think that that's such strength in leadership. It was a local synagogue. Sons of seven. And a lava and the corner of the end day. I could not not love a bassy. I won't get in Walla. Hell, my boys are too bad. Uru and Nalan for easy, even for my Fuga Cons and Lomundo. Uh, I love B's generosity. He's very generous. I love B's uh, attitude of like, we can do it. Let's go do it. And uh, I might not always show you that, eh? No. <laughs> that is surprising. Okay. Wow. Um, I'll do more of that. Yeah. And uh, three things. And I, I do think you're funny. You see? Yeah, you're funny. Yeah. Thanks, Poops. Yeah. And also, you are, you are a, a kind human being. Um, you've taught me to be kinder um, to others and to myself, and that is definitely something I cherish about you. So I love that you're just down to earth. Mm. and you're caring, mm. you're loving. Okay, I know this is more than three, but I'm trying to condense it all mm. into one. There's just so much There's to so say. Much. Do you understand? It's a very yeah. broad question. There's just so much to say <laughs> yeah. but, when it comes yeah. to describing me. Tell you. Yeah, but you're very down to earth, so mm. I could immediately <laughs> relate. <laughs> <laughs> he is humble. Yeah. Uh, he's very humble. Come I know on, sometimes, no? you know. <laughs> I'm very humble. I love how he also uh, cares for our children and um, how he's always looking for ways to provide and protect and create a secure environment for, for us as a family. Um, and also how he loves God. That's a major one as well. Um, his, his love for God is genuine. So that's, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> and you are a homemaker. Um, there's just something about the touch that you have within a house that turns a house into a home, which I think is is definitely something um, I love about you. Hmm. Yeah, um, similarly for me as well, um, Monty has always been, my husband has always been someone dependable that I could always trust and depend upon um, if I if I if I think if I think about prior to our marriage um, he was um, someone that was honest caring um, and even into our marriage um, even during the years when I was working long hours um, he was basically took over the role of caretaker taking the children to hospital because I was probably working. I love I love the Neil's passion, uh, not just for life, but I love I love Dan's passion for the things of God. The Neil's a a passionate follower of Jesus. She prioritizes a relationship with God above everything else. In fact, when we started dating, uh, she very firmly, very clearly let me know that uh, look, I don't need you. I, I choose you and I want you, but I don't need you. I have Jesus, I have the Lord, and I need Him, but I choose you. It was a little in the lap, in his feet. Hey, he could say, and then my kinica, my kinica, and so my kinica me. I kinica, oh, fanagalo, the makinica, Abnan will include a win engineer. No more M17, I go for the umkula, what the bambe. I think Kungani's drive and ambition and zeal for life is something that 
um, attracted me to him uh, right at the beginning. I loved that even at that young age, he had such a clear vision of what he wants his life to look like. Yo, if, if, if you know me for many years, um, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always out there with people and very social. Um, and Kaz is very calm, um, very settled. <laughs> and um, for me, that, that brings a sweet spot. To have somebody that can complete you in that way and bring that peace and that comfort. Just like, hey, bro, settle down. Yeah. Just, it's going to be okay. Yeah. So I love the fact that you are such a go-getter and it makes me want to do better and be better, right? And so I love the fact that even when, like, I don't want to do something because I think I can't do it or because I think, you know, um, I'm not qualified enough to do it. It yeah. doesn't matter how grand this idea is. Hungani will be like, in the most chilled way ever. Yeah, it's not, like, it can be something that's like so daunting. You'll be like, yeah, no, it's, it's simple. All we're gonna do is, you know. Um, and, and then it's just his heart as well uh, for the community and his love for children in general. Um, I think that's what's so endearing to me about him and his love for God. And number two, uh, my wife is a worshiper of note. Um, she loves singing in the house, you know, and just worshiping. And my kids know already if there's a worship uh, session going on in the house, leave mom alone. <laughs> yeah, he's a friend, first of all. Secondly, it's a helper. Daniel's exceptionally committed uh, to our family, committed to me, uh, committed to the kids, uh, and, and by extension, she's committed to those around her. Um, she loves very deeply, and she carries people in her heart. Um, and, and then thirdly, Kaz, Kaz genuineness. Um, uh, she, she might not think it, she's so good with people. She's a great listener, right? She's a great listener. And so, so that attracts a lot of people to open up to her and I believe that's, a, that's, that's where ministry uh, is, where, where she's so trustworthy and people can just open up to her and she can speak into their lives. I love that he is um, an amazing leader as well. Um, he right. doesn't like to uh, believe it and he doesn't give himself enough credit for it, but he is a wonderful leader of our home and um, both like Rulani and I are very blessed to have someone like you who has vision and who leads um, his family in the way that you lead us. Um, he leads by example as well, and not just for us, but for other people as well. Uh, lastly, Daniel's insanely creative. And it's a one thing uh, that I think maybe uh, a lot of people won't experience about Daniel. When people think about Daniel, they think about Daniel as a worshiper. Um, they think about Daniel as, as somebody who's on stage singing, but Daniel's insanely creative. Uh, I'm going to add a fourth thing because, I mean, why not? Um, <laughs> Daniel's incredibly funny. Like, Daniel's hilarious. <laughs> I laugh the whole day with Daniel. She's literally one of the funniest people that I know. You were saying I taught you to be kind, <laughs> but Hungani is always, always willing uh, to help the next person. Like, he's such a intentional um, and if he's going to help you it's not going to be some slapstick okay you know let me just help like this and like that but he will really give his heart to whoever it is that needs help it can sometimes be you know whether it's a stranger whether it's someone who reaches out like family and wants to have a meeting with him or whatever the case might be he will pour of his knowledge and experience and the things he knows um, and I love that about him because it speaks to how humble you are and it speaks to the fact that most times even when people meet him they're always like oh we didn't, because you're on TV or whatever don't realize you're that humble and I love that he really treats everyone the same. <laughs> There's no hierarchy. Like you could be whoever, you know, and whatever. It, it doesn't box people into categories and stuff like that based on whatever his fame or based on whatever things people, why people box. So I love that he's such a humble person and there's many other things, but let me give other give people a chance as well. Last. Without her, 
I'm not complete. Lots of sex. <laughs> Did you say that? They said, they said I'm allowed to. <laughs> well, for me, there's three things basically. Honesty, commitment, and communication. Okay. But one of the things. One right? of the things? Well, uh, not like, please don't hurt yourselves, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like. <laughs> I think for me, it's, it's we, we oftentimes when answering this question, people would say honesty. Uh, and, I, and I do believe that. I do believe that honesty is a key principle in, in maintaining uh, or managing a, a really effective relationship. But maybe what precedes honesty uh, to each other is honesty to ourselves. I think it's being honest with ourselves. Uh, it's being, uh, 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 yeah, honest with ourselves. And that then produces this honesty between one another. Um, a big one for us that we both believe in is communication. Yeah. Communication being transparent with each other. Yeah. It's not all uh, 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 roses. You're going to have your difficult times, but if you're committed, and then the last thing is communication, to communicate on all fronts at all times. Communication is a big one. Then you have things like clear communication, and you have all that type of stuff that's kind of rooted in that. Um, but yeah, and, 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 and Daniel will speak more to you. Placing God first, in absolutely everything that we do. A lot of listening, a lot of understanding, a lot of clear communication, mm -hmm. a lot of honesty, and a lot of butting heads. Yeah, I agree. I agree uh, with that, that communication is extremely important um, with the honesty factor that goes with it. But I think trust is also very key. Um, and as Monty said now, um, it's not always love and roses. Um, after 38 years of marriage, you know, there's a saying that says when, what's it, trouble comes through the front door, then love goes out the back door. Good things there. No dishes. No bigger day. I would say that uh, as a couple, as a couple, we share a lot of things together, but individually God has called us into spaces where Kazi can speak into that I necessarily cannot speak into. Hers is worship, right? Uh, mine in ministry is connecting with people and also giving them a different side of how you can love God and still just be yourself. And so that is what God has called me to. And so not getting offended in that, but working around that and, and, and God just working through us individually. It's the same with your calling in, in business or your calling in what you want to do as an individual. And just being honest, and I think it's probably an answer that many will say, but I think it, it just is testament to the fact that it's so important yeah. um, to really be open and vulnerable, um, almost as if you are naked in front of your partner um, in a physical and mental, spiritual, psychological manner, um, because it does it does the marriage no good to to feel a certain way and have your partner not know that you feel that way, regardless of how small or big um, the thing matter um, might be. How do you maintain marriage, Tubbs? Uh, I, by being intentional about listening, mm. li like learning to know how to listen to the other person in their language. And in then their to language. actually listen. Uh, yeah, and then to actually, and then to actually do it. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, even if it's just a thing of like, oh, change your cologne, like it, just the way it's, you know, it messes with my sinuses. You know, like it could but be say, as... But say it nicer. Don't say change your shoes. Yeah, no, Babe, but... <laughs> I really have a suggestion. I think your cologne is a little bit strong. It's and that's why, you know, I'm always sneezing. Yeah, so let's, you know, how you say is as important Maybe as even buy what you're cologne, saying. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta... <laughs> so yeah, I think, I think, yeah, you get the gist of, yeah. of what I'm saying. So just off the back of Jason speaking about the relationship with God um, being the foundation, that is like pinnacle for us. And 
We were actually chatting about it the other day, like just what is the, the fact that even in us pursuing God, it's not really about what we do. The doing is the output, the fruit is the output, but it's more about who we are. So we are very much about like understanding who we are firstly in Christ and our identity in Him, understanding that I'm a daughter before I'm a wife, I'm a daughter of the Most High God, and then that makes me a good wife. Respect is one thing. And love itself. And so for me, what's key is that I can support her in what she loves mm -hmm. and she can support me in what I love. Mm -hmm. Agreement is key for us. If there's no agreement in that thing, it will not work because we'll be fighting about it all the time. Mm -hmm. So as a couple, agreement is important, communication and just being honest mm -hmm. with each other. Uh, I think goes a long way. I think what I've learned in these five years and also from the amazing marriages around me is that us. around us, correction, yes, around us, is that um, <clears throat> in marriage, sometimes um, what you feel like doing and what's the right thing to do, they don't match. Mm. And the right thing to do has to always um, supersede what you feel like doing. Um, and a marriage should not be primarily driven by how we feel because how we feel changes. In 24 hours, we have so many different feelings. And so that shouldn't govern the choices you make within your marriage. What should govern is how is this gonna edify how is this going to edify my partner? How's this going to honor my partner? How's this going to honor God? How is this choice going to have consequences within our marriage? And sometimes those are small choices. Sometimes they are bigger choices, you know. But doing the right thing for your marriage is extremely important and sometimes more important than um, how we feel in that moment. Forgiveness. Forgive your wife. But that is what makes a marriage succeed. When I understand that, that I'm a daughter in Christ, I produce love. Yeah. Because if you look at the definition in the Bible about what love is, patient, kind, mm -hmm. it's actually fruit of the Spirit. So that's what I'm after, that's what we're after, and what we really like prioritize because then it just produces the output and it produces a strong, healthy marriage because love then is what we will yeah, produce as fruit. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you still maintain um, respect for each other and you're kind to each other, um, you know, you can overcome that and you can still work through your marriage. But be kind to one another, be respectful of each other um, and, and, and stay prayerful praying for one another always. So there's many times that I want to act according to how, you know, my physique, like how my body or how I feel like I want to do something, but I know it's not going to help our marriage. So that's something I think that's very important. And why this is difficult is because the world has like a very polar opposite way of thinking of things. In the world, it's all about self. It's about me. What makes me happy so that I can pour into everyone else's glasses? It's my truth. It's me, 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 me. But I think when you think of marriage in the context of the other one and you continue to fill one another's glass, glasses or cups or whatever, then that is how, you know what I mean, your marriage progresses. So um, that for me is important. That's cool. Combined with copious mm. amounts of <laughs> intimacy. And one <laughs> one deep thing, yeah, copious amounts of intimacy. I just <laughs> just not putting it the way you put it. You didn't. Um, the co copious amounts copious. of. Mm. Co okay. Um, last thing is uh, honor, hey, big honor. time honor. Outdo each other with honor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Try to. Is that enough? Yeah. A lot. Of, it's a lot of things. I think it's a combination of all the things. Mm. Mm. Yeah obviously have healthy communication and everything else but in the biggest scheme of things your marriage should honor god and think about the choices you're making will this decision honor my husband or my wife but bigger than that will this decision honor god mm. if i make it and i think those are key steps to having 
a successful, beautiful marriage. I just, I just want to add that was beautiful. Yeah. Intimacy is also very, it's very important. important. I think the anchor said all intimacies. Yeah. But intimacy is yes. key. key. That's why we got married in the month of love. Just in case we forget Key. Valentine's, then we can put intimacy on intimacy upon intimacy. <laughs> <laughs>